Hey y'all, I'm Corey Ashton and welcome to day 14 of a series of 30. Oh my goodness, we are two weeks in to just step-by-step -step working through how to best optimize your WordPress website. If you'd like to work ahead, be sure to check out the links below. I've got a link over to a free course. It's a 45 minute video that allows you to just walk through in this worksheet at a self-paced manner and just kind of audit your current website to be certain that you're doing best practices for SEO. All right, today's question is probably one of the biggest ones that you need to really spend some time on, so let's dig in. All right, number 14, does your website have correct meta tags? Again, this is probably one of the most important things you can do to spend time on in your website. The first thing you wanna do is go do some of that keyword research so that you know exactly what you should be including in this exercise. And of course, I'll put links to those types of tasks below so you can go check out other videos if you're wondering just how to do that. So first I wanna show you how this impacts your website so that you'll understand why it's so important. So your meta tags are going to be your title tag on your page as well as the description of your page. And so see how it says right here, site title, description, keywords, Google verified, all of this is playing into your meta tags. So the reason why this is so important is because when you go to Google and you do a site search, let's say you go up here and you type in site.askcory.com and you get all of these different listings. These, of course, are all the different pages, posts, anything really that Google has indexed from your one singular domain. So you can do this on your own website. You just type in the word site, S-I-T-E, and then whatever domain name you're interested in. And you can see right here as it shows you all these different snippets, that's what these are called, Google snippets, you might want to optimize them for improved click-through rate and improved rank. Well, the way you might want to optimize these is by manually overriding what is submitted here. By default, Google is gonna grab whatever your website pulls into your page title, and if you haven't specifically overridden those first two sentences or so, it's gonna grab whatever text it can read and just display it here. So it's not the most optimized I'm gonna show you a quick example here. This one says courses, ask Corey. Well, that doesn't say what this is at all. It doesn't say they're free digital courses. It doesn't say free WordPress courses. It could definitely be optimized a little bit further. So I'm gonna take you into the website and show you how to do this. This is the page that it's pulling from, my Learn SEO and WordPress Best Practices. This is my online courses that you can come over and get. Some are small fees, some are totally for free, but I wanna optimize this page so that that snippet reads a little better. So I'm gonna go in and edit the page, right? We're gonna go into the backside, the inside of your WordPress website. You're gonna see the Divi Builder in here because as you know, if you follow my channel, I use the Divi theme, but we're gonna scroll just below it and what you're looking for is this plugin right here, Yoast SEO. If you have not installed that on your WordPress website, it's totally for free. And again, I'll give you a link in the description box below that you can go to. I have an entire playlist dedicated to how to optimize each and every post inside of your WordPress website using this free plugin. But for now, here's what I wanna do. It has by default pulled out courses, ask Corey, and please provide a meta description. That's what it's saying right here. And what we wanna do is overwrite these two areas. We wanna overwrite the SEO title, and we wanna overwrite the meta description right here to optimize that snippet a little bit further. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna back all that out, and I'm gonna say online digital courses, free WordPress courses, and you can see that it's kind of calculating up the character length and the optimization. It's giving me an orange right now. You want to get that to where it grows into a green for the most optimal. So I'm going to include a pipe with Corey Ashton on there in case somebody's looking specifically for my content, right? And then the meta description here is going to give you another opportunity to include in some of your keywords. So for this particular page, I'll use Again, you can see it kind of do my character count with me. It's gonna show you exactly what your Google snippet is going to look like. This is in mobile results, and if we wanted to view it in desktop results, now you're gonna to start to see what this would then look like inside of that Google snippet. So you can already see the optimization increase, and hopefully from that, instead of this version, you would now see this version, 
And hopefully that would do its job with improving our click-through rate and even improving our rank. So really we wanna go through every single page, every single post of your WordPress website and apply this strategy. If you'd like to learn how to use this plugin even further, again, reference that entire playlist I have below, totally for free to go check out Yoast. Also keep in mind that anything you're doing like this is not going to be an overnight change inside of Google. It already has all of these other indexed results. So you definitely wanna give it some time for it to overwrite and to start rendering like this on your Google search results. Again, this type of task really, really relies on understanding your keywords, understanding your audience, making certain that every single Google snippet is best optimized so that you can improve that click-through rate, right? Coming off of those Google search results, getting them over to your page. This is a really key component of building your organic growth and reach on your SERPs. All right, you guys, stick around. Be sure to click subscribe and like. I will see you tomorrow. We're halfway there. Bye, y'all.